Jack and Gus tugged at the fairy godmother's sleeves. Cinderella likes smaller things, Jack told her. Gus pointed proudly to himself. Like mice. <laughs> this, is a, this is a little weird now that I think about it. All at once, the fairy godmother understood why Cinderella hadn't been thrilled. The fairy godmother went to Cinderella's room a little later. I'm afraid I may have gotten a bit carried away, my dear, she confessed. Now tell me, what would the wedding of your dreams be like? After listening to Cinderella drone on and on for hours on end, the fairy godmother begrudgingly began to perform her magic, starting to regret getting him involved in the first place. With a wave of her wand, a few magic words, and a lightning scar on Cinderella's face, the veil was finished. <laughs> then the invitations were sent out to a smaller group of people and rodents alike. Now let's cut that cake down to size the fairy godmother said with a twinkle in her eye. As they walked into the kitchen, Cinderella turned to the mice. Thank you, my, er, thank you, my little friends, she said gratefully. Anything for you, Cinderella, Jack said. I can't really blame them for not getting her name right. They shouldn't be able to talk in the first place. Bibbidi boppidi boo, the fairy godmother cried as she pointed at the skate at the cake. 